four, three, two, one. This is really one. good. I hope you're going to wash those potatoes before you do anything else with well, them. Well, I might. They look right filthy to me. Well, the, you know, they came out of God's good earth. What do you want? Well, so does the dirt. You <laughs> want to go out and eat that while you're at it? I have done it before, and I'll do it again before I die. And Doris, whence break a I will of, return to dirt. Doris, break a couple of tablespoons of dirt in from the back of uh, I will see Mr. Johnson. How are you doing, oh, I'm Mr. Doing Bly? Great. I'm doing great. I'm doing I good, really too. You know, <clears throat> after we've had all of this <clears throat> summer weather, uh, around these parts recently. Today it's snowing. Uh, and it's wonderful. We need yeah, winter. It is. We you do. need a little winter we do. once in we a while. We do. Makes every, I think makes I need a little comb in addition year. to winter. Where's my comb? Didn't I hide a comb away <laughs> here the last time? No. What is with that? I keep thinking I've got a comb and it's not well, there. Well, if you were organized, you'd bring one like I do every time. Oh, would you? Well, yes, like I would. But don't watch me. I'm, I, make up. Make up. Oh, forget it. him. Give it up. We want to welcome back one of our original camera persons today, Mr. John Betcher. Uh, we're glad to have John back. Who was on our yes. first show back in 1912. And of course, he, he has a major league, uh, big executive responsibility around here now. But and they today, still pull him out of right. his executive suite and bring him down here and make him, and, and it's just I wonderful. thought it was real cute a while ago when they were trying to tell him how to turn the on and off switch to make it the camera work but oh, we are glad no, to no, have John, John never with forgets us today. He never no forgets. he does this is his 15th or 16th generation of cameras <laughs> right <he's got. laughs> all right well let's bring the old Me witch too. in for oh here comes the witch today i'm ready for her and could even see her i think you're getting better with it i eyesight. am i'm getting real good and i say it's getting better i'm going to have the other one fixed here in a little bit Dear L&L, uh -huh. we need some help. Uh -huh. My husband, Spanky, and I are having a bunch of his friends over for a brunch to watch the games on TV next Saturday. Uh -huh. They'll all be here. Yeah. Big Boy, John Boy, Thumper, and his girlfriend, Miss Claudie, uh -huh. and Snookums. Snookums. They are all big eaters. Mm. What can we fix for this hungry horde? The last time they were here, we had five buckets of chicken and a dozen pizzas. Good heavens. Little Nerman, our son, tried to reconstruct the chickens from their bones just like the scientists on TV. Spanky had to smack him for playing with everybody's food. Oh, In heavens. other words, we need something cheap and without bones. Well, now that you've read that. And it's, wait a minute, it's from Drusilla and Spanky Burphy <laughs> of La Brea, California. Well, the letter lasts as long. We don't have time <laughs> to do anything. So good night, folks. See you around. Oh, well, we are going to do breakfast. Yeah. We're going to do breakfast stuff. I'm going to do uh, sausage gravy. And I got to tell you, I have never, you know, I'm what, I come from a great gravy making family. Right. I can make gravy out of anything. I can make gravy out of dirt if you want me to. I know you're excited yeah. about uh -huh. it. This gravy starts out with soup <laughs> and sherry, cooking sherry. Oh, well, no. I don't think I've ever had uh, gravy, sausage gravy with sherry on it. Well, you know, my recipe, I'm doing um, Maggie's Super Potatoes, and it's got soup and sherry in it also. Uh -huh. And this was sent in by Maggie Keeler of Charlestown, West Virginia. Do da do da day. That's where they have the Charlestown races. By the way, Rose DeWolf. The wonderful de soul that uh, she is, who writes for the Philadelphia Daily News, has done a, a wonderful article on us. It says, uh, cooking uh, up some laughs. Uh, there we are. And it's a wonderful article. Well, thank it just you. came out the other day. Thanks an awful lot. She didn't say a single rude thing about us. Well, that's well not amazing. too much. Well, anyway. people in Philly have got their act together. And we lastly, but not leastly, I've been asked by Miss Carol to open this. This is something for oh, me. I don't know okay. what it is. You know, I get gifts all the time. Perhaps it's a set of cones for your hair. Uh-huh. Here is a new mascot for your kitchen. It was carved by my husband, oh. Mike. Uh, her name is Ms. Cook and Cheap Cook. Well, that's a funny name for uh, a man, isn't it? Yes. For her husband. Oh, this thing oh, is yeah. called that. She reminds us of the Cook sister, so we thought we'd send it along. Watch out, though. She's fun, but quite stern. You may find that if one of you forget to pick up one of the grocery items you need to cook the day's recipe, she just might whack one of you with a spoon. Other than that, she'll keep good watch over your kitchen. Janet and Mike Korica of Duluth, Minnesota. Oh, wonderful. 
Cora Eka. Hold, hold Eka. on to that stuff, Fly. You could use that instead of that toupee you were thinking about well, getting. Well, Lauren, look at that. Where are we? She does look right stern, oh, doesn't she? Oh, sealed for our Looks protection, right too. Looks right too, I might add. <laughs> Let's take her out of her little bag and see. How long do you think she stay fresh in there? Uh-huh. Well, she is right severe yes. looking, and she oh. does look like the Cook Sisters. Uh -huh. Well, thanks an awful lot from Thank Duluth, you. Minnesota. One of the six viewers on that network we're on. Okay, <laughs> and let me let me start because Go it's going to take forever. Go I've got four big baking potatoes that I have to rinse off, and then thinly sliced, and a half a great big cooking onion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's all yours. Well, what I'm doing, I have a two-pan routine going over here for the sausage gravy. I'll tell you, this will be real interesting. Uh, I am browning, and it's looking very nice and brown, very slowly brown, a little Jimmy Dean sausage. Doesn't matter what kind of sausage, I shouldn't even mention the brand, but Jimmy lives here in our state of Virginia, you know. So anyway, just taking care of local people. So anyway, that's a whole pound of that. And use mild, or if you really want it hot, you can use the other, but I don't. And Mr. Johnson has, he just gets a little nervous when things get a little too hot, spicy-wise. And so in deference to him, I'm using mild sausage. In another pan, I am warming up some, uh, just a little bit of oil. And what we're gonna put in there right now are some, uh, is an onion. And we're gonna throw that in there and brown that. And all of these shall come together momentarily into a single dish. It'll just amaze you. So there we are on that. And brown nose just a little bit. These are now pretty much ready, and I can start adding some other stuff. But before I do, I have some mushrooms that I have cleaned, and I'm just going to chop those mushrooms up. And I might even throw those in oh. with the onions, though you're not supposed to. You're supposed to put it in something else, but I don't care. Laban? All right, well, I'm going with these potatoes. Now, folks, you can go a lot faster if you cut the potatoes in half. Yeah, then you can use your superior knife techniques a lot faster in slicing these bad boys right on up. This is just like they do on the high price shows. Oh, by the way, my recipe also requires you to bake some potatoes. <laughs> so I have indeed baked in for sausage two gravy. Whole, for, yes, this gets served, <laughs> this is just a strange recipe, it gets served over baked potatoes. How about that? Holy moly. So I've done that, and I'll nuke that in a couple of minutes when we get ready a little closer to the thing here, to the doodah. You know, I'm only doing half of this recipe because I said, this looks like it's going to feed an army. Well, half of it feeds an army. Yeah. So uh, if you send in and get this recipe, you can cut it in half, and it still works fine and would still serve six or eight people without any trouble. I'm going to drain off a little of the grease uh, off in this uh, uh, sausage. Well, where are you going to drain it? Down in the sink and clog up the plumbing? Uh-huh. <laughs> plumbing wasn't worth too much to begin with. Well, I guess that's the truth. Worth even less now. Well, you know what? This was pretty lean stuff. There really wasn't much, much in mm -hmm. there. Almost disappointing. I have nothing to crab about. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to complain about. I made some turkey chili well, the Well, I was wondering why this stuff wasn't frying any better than it was, and I had pulled it. You know, these things don't have natural uh, things on them to tell you when you're on the eye. Uh -huh. So I was over here in the corner oh. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it wasn't working so well. <laughs> these things will fool you. They'll sneak up on you. Well, while you're doing that, I guess it's going to take a little bit in it. I'm going to start adding some stuff to this. Okay, so we have browned the sausage in the pan, and we have drained it well. And now we add the uh, sherry. It calls for a quarter of a cup of sherry. <laughs> or just empty the bottle. You think I'm going to care take all that back? A half a cup of sliced fresh mushrooms or a small Well, I'm going to add that in a minute. I'm sauteing those over there right now so they get done. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. You know, I have a That's feeling close. that they would not approve of this down in the country. Oh, I think that in the Shenandoah County, you could be arrested for making gravy that like this. Uh, and besides, they'd never waste all that sherry on gravy. <laughs> they'd, <laughs> they'd drink it while they do that. With that. Although I can't believe anybody up in your neck of the woods would actually drink sherry anyway. No, they wouldn't. Quarter of a teaspoon of dried basil. They would date sherry, but they would never do anything uh -huh. like that. Uh, sherry was a good woman. 
A quarter of a teaspoon dries rosemary. A little of that in there. It's supposed to be crumbled. I don't have time. Uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon pepper. Got some lemon pepper. Well, I'll just... That should be the greatest plenty. And a pinch of seasoned salt. I don't have any salt at all. Can I just have some ordinary old salt? Here's, here's some. some old I don't ordinary need. old salt would be wonderful at this point. And that goes in there. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. And stir that all around and just saute that a little bit here until we get the next part of it done. Johnson. Ooh, that smells right good. With all those basil and rosemary and all that stuff in there. Are you still chopping? I'm, now I'm chopping onions. He just never stops chopping. Or slicing onions, rather. Well, okay, I can, I can add something else here. I've got the onions and mushrooms. I just threw the mushrooms in there so they get done, being that we're doing this on TV and we don't have all the time in the world. Now I'm now going to add all that into the sausage and the sherry and the whatever else was in there. Was there beer in there? I can't remember. I, I don't think Some kind of liquor, but I can't recall what it was. I don't know much about it. Okay, there we go. That goes in. I'm going to cut that back up again. And in a few minutes, we'll add the... Did I add the basil? I think I forgot to add the basil. Oh, yeah, I, I used it out of my own little container there. All right. And that in a few minutes, we'll add the rest of it, and I'll tell you what that's all about. Now, I'm adding about a tablespoon, remember I'm only doing half of this, of chopped, par finely chopped, fresh parsley. So, I'm just chopping this bad stuff up just as quick as I can. How long does it take to nuke a potato at 100% uh, capacity? At, uh, what do you want, just to make it hot? I want to make it hot. About 30 seconds. Actually, I kind of would like to make it hot enough to burn your lips. Oh, no. I just love it when he complains and huffs and wheezes and blows and snorts. <laughs> I'm putting it on three minutes. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Now the last thing I got to do here, I guess, is I, I guess, is I guess, is I have to add this uh, soup. Where does it say to add the soup? Where's that at? I'll stir in the soup until well blended. And this is cream of celery. And you know what you might do? You could use cream of mushroom too, by the way. And what you might consider doing is, if it gets a little too thick, I'm sure you could thin this down with a little wata at mm -hmm. this point. Now, I, knows I'm we don't want to throw any more sherry in there. We won't be able to remember breakfast. I'm, I'm just going to chop up some fresh dill that I got at the grocery You know, it's so nice to be able to go in the grocery store these days and buy fresh herbs. We have, finally, uh, just uh, some wonderful selection here now. Just terrific stuff in the store, so that's great. This is looking real nice. And it's smelling pretty good, too. But I'll have to admit, I don't traditionally think that this is gravy. And I think I am going to add just, do you think I'll to add just a little liquid to that? Or should I just let that sort of settle in? Oh, I Huh? Hammerstrom thinks it needs. Everybody in the studio thinks that it requires. This is democratic more. cooking. Okay, democratic cooking says. Survey says, add water. Yeah, we're going to put it on a potato, so it's got to stay fairly thick. I'm going to cut it up a little bit, so it'll... But, you know, normally you would add uh, water to soup anyway. You don't want to get too runny. Now I'm there going go. to add to mine a half of a giant can of cream of mushroom soup. This is a family-sized can of soup in the familiar red and white label. All of you know what it is. It's a 26-ounce can, and this is half of it. So that goes into this mix along with the fresh dill and the um, fresh parsley. That's a mighty big pan. It must make a hundred. Oh, it Did does. you say that's I'm just one half? It, just, it makes a tremendous amount. Is that and just a half? Yeah, that's just half. How many does it feed? I would say eight. Does it say? It does. It's eight, and it, the whole recipe would serve at least 16 people. By the way, this, this was This is a in. cup of oh, okay. shredded sharp cheddar cheese, low fat, of course. I'm surprised you hadn't already been in it. Nope. You nope. weren't nope. eating nope. it on nope. the way nope. over nope. here in the car, were you? Mm-mm. 
My recipe was sent in by Maggie Keeler of Charlestown, West Virginia. I used to go up there every week, every month of my life. And Girl not Scott. to be outdone, Mr. Mm -hmm. Bly, oh. I'm going to put in uh -oh. about a quarter of a cup of cherry <laughs> also. <laughs> Your quarter of a cup, I think, was even bigger than my quarter of a cup. And then I'm also going to throw in... I'm going to give it another a, minute. ...a big healthy dash of Worcestershire sauce, which I can say and Larry can't. Never have been able to say Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Sure. And then it's got to have some rosemary. I'm cutting this off now. It's done. It's ready. All we do is just keep it warm at this point. And Doesn't it look pretty? It really is an interesting recipe. Isn't that nice? Just full of goodness. Look at that. Just bubbling away in there with all those wonderful herbs and spices. Woo! All right, now What's I've got, to got like? in some rosemary. And um, it's going to have a teaspoon of lemon pepper. And this is a special blend I have. So uh, oh, I'm telling you, I get so excited when it snows. I can just hardly wait to get out of here and go sled riding. And now we're going to use my special blend of seasoned salt that I gave you last year. You remember that? Oh, it was some good stuff. And if we, if we can get a wide shot, who does this look like? Bah! Nobody said it. You, you're supposed to say bam, bam. It One of those high price chefs does that all the time. It looks like bam? Uh-huh. That I he must throws stuff in and everybody in the audience yells bam for him. I don't watch right. any of those shows. I don't even watch this show. Why would I watch their show? You all watch it sometimes. What, uh, this show? Yes. Yeah. You couldn't catch me? Oh, yeah, oh, sure, I'll try it sometime. Uh-huh. Oh, now, wait I a minute. Need I have plates. left out something. Where? Yes, ma'am. I need the plates. Uh, Miss uh, Doris is going to get her plates. She just came in without her teeth. It's just awful. And I didn't want to bring her on. Oh. She forgot about them. Now, actually, she's going over to the table to get our plates so that I can just prepare this directly onto the uh, plates that we're going to eat them on. This is a half a pound of broccoli, and I've got to chop it up. Because it was in big... I couldn't find a pound package of chopped broccoli, so I had to get the, the full-size spears and just cut them up. You're supposed to do that when it's uh, still frozen? No. You have to let it thaw out a little bit so oh, you can okay. cut it. All right, now all of this goes in. And you could add other vegetables to this, plus uh, you could add ham to make it a main dish. Uh-huh. All right, now, once you get everything in the, there, then you have to stir it all up real good. So maybe you can bring I have never Mrs. seen Ford such a in. lump of stuff in my life. It's a mess. Miss Ford's you. coming in. Good. Doris is here. How you doing, Doris? Fine. Have you been a good little boy, girl since the last time I saw you? I'm always good. And when she's, she's talking bad, into she's my, better. she's talking into my kneecap. <laughs> well, uh, I had to, to make, um, a fruited tortilla, and um, what you tell me to take a fruity uh, tortilla. <laughs> a fruity tortilla, and I and I drove 96 miles trying to find fresh strawberries. Went twice to the <laughs> store, called them up, didn't get an answer. Had a had a uh, toll call, and still didn't get the fresh strawberries. So I'm, I had to use frozen, and I don't know how this is going to work. And I'm going to use my fingers here. I had to take strawberries, and they're kind of mushy now, from being at, and apples, and put them on this tortilla. And um, I think, the, uh, I'm not sure whether there's a mistake in this recipe or not. It, it called for a tablespoon of cinnamon in with your brown sugar. And it just seems like an awful lot of cinnamon. It says sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and uh, the cinnamon sugar on it, roll them up, and put them in a pan like this. And then, um, here it is. <laughs> and then a half a cup of orange juice, it said pour over. I guess you pour it on, on top of all of them hmm. and put it in the microwave.
for three minutes. I missed that one right well, there. It doesn't do a very good job It's underneath there. It's not very much to put in there, but that, that'll have to do. Right. And then now uh, I put in the mic. <laughs> excuse me. Put it, well, I don't, I don't have enough room here. I, uh, I have to put it in the microwave for three minutes now, and, and you serve it with sour cream or whipped cream. Okay, it's, do it. So that ought to be pretty good. Let me get this out of your way. Thank you. Uh, so now here's how you serve this. You take this, and I have heated these. I baked these potatoes uh, prior to coming in. Uh, and then what you do is, and I've just heated them back up again, open them up, and you serve this over top the potato. Look at that. Serve as a stuffed potato type of thing. Ooh, you know that's going to be wonderful. Okay, there you go. All right. Now, with mine, you put it in a large casserole. Uh, the directions say cover it with foil. Good idea. And then bake it for uh, an hour and a half. Take the foil off and bake it for another 20 minutes. If you're doing half of it like I am, you need to cut that down. So bake it for an hour, take the foil off, and then bake it for another 10 or 15 minutes. And it comes out looking beautiful, as we'll see in a minute. And let's give these recipes. Sausage gravy, a small onion chopped, a half a tablespoon of vegetable oil, a half a pound of uh, bulk mild pork sausage crumbled. I think I said a pound, but anyway, a quarter of a cup of sherry, half cup sliced sauteed fresh mushroom, or you can get it right out of the can. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter of a teaspoon of dried basil crumbled, a quarter of a teaspoon of dried rosemary crumbled, a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon pepper, a pinch of seasoned salt, and a can of cream of mushroom or celery soup, and also a couple of baking potatoes. And the super potatoes call for eight medium russet baking potatoes, one large cooking onion, one package of frozen chopped broccoli, two cups shredded cheddar cheese, one 26 ounce can cream of mushroom or celery soup, a quarter cup of sherry, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of dried parsley or two tablespoons of fresh, a teaspoon of dried dill or basil or a tablespoon of chopped fresh, a half a teaspoon of dried sage or rosemary crushed, a teaspoon of lemon pepper and a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt and go to the oven with it and it turns out really well and let me get mine out of the oven while we're oh this is so exciting well, it's it eating is. time it here it on is. the old set of cooking now let's cheese. see if we can actually get it out he's going to try to get it out and i bet he doesn't have that little pokey thing that he brought in a couple of weeks no, ago that's I don't. so clever and so my clever. arms are plenty big <sighs> your arms have seen the glory <laughs> <laughs> they have what that means. okay all right. Take your time, just trip and fall. But be careful, you've got your foot caught in your... Yes, I see. Just watch what you're doing. I can't watch it and there you walk go. at the same time. There now, what can go. I put this on, Doris? <sighs> Is there a trivet over there? I don't want to burn the tablecloth, <laughs> although I'm sorely tempted. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care. Well, it looks pretty. Look at that. It's beautiful. Put some of that beside all, a lot of a lot of stuff here. This looks like a right well, I, heavy I think meal. That's probably enough for you there. I think that's a right heavy meal. I think it is too. I think that one of these would be the greatest of plenty. Both of them is entirely Indoors. too. Much. Of course, you wouldn't normally be serving potatoes with potatoes anyway. Right. Oh. I think you mm. can put that thing on this one. Let me try this. It would be so much better gravy. if the potatoes were done. Uh, hand me that little thing over there and I'll get you some mm. of Doris's stuff. Mmm. Sausage gravy is real salty. I'm telling you. <laughs> Just like it's supposed to be, I guess. Here, have one of those while you're at it. I think this is entirely too much food. Mm. Just entirely too much food. I haven't even got to try the potato and the gravy. You say it's too salty? It is right salty. I forgot. What, what is that? This, you put sour cream or... Another camera appearance. Holy cow. Well... Means she gets I'd paid have double. Drive, I'd have to drive a long way to get here. Uh, well, you do. You need to put sour cream or whipped cream on. Oh, I'm going to try this. <sighs> well, I like Tortilla. sour cream. Why don't you take whipped cream? I did. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think it's still frozen. I'm not having any luck at all. Mm. Even this meal is so big and blobby, I can't even get it on a fork. What do you think? Well, the frozen tortilla seems to be real good. <laughs> oh, did I say that? I'm it sorry, tastes a little frozen. It tastes a little frozen to me. Mmm, that's good. It's right. real good. I think all of these are fine. 
No, I didn't add any. I just put a little touch of salt to the uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I obviously don't add any. Yeah, don't you think it's just a little? Just a little bit. I don't know why they're real good. Mm -hmm. Everything is. Mm -hmm. It's so fabulous. I may just sit here and eat for the rest of the evening. Well, go ahead. <laughs> I think it'd be real funny to well, see you do that. After well, they turn the go. lights off. And Come go on home. back next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.